The best cyclists from around the world are about to race more than 120 miles from Baltimore County through the city. You can see the action all up close this Sunday from the sidelines during the Maryland Cycling Classic. The event is bringing both an economic boost and major road closures to our area. Here's what you can expect from America's top-ranked cycling race. The second annual Maryland Cycling Classic is set for Sunday. The event will showcase some of the best cyclists from around the globe. This includes Port of France participants, Olympians, national and world champions, plus one of Maryland's very own, Scott McGill. Yeah, it's uh, awesome to be able to, you know, come home and, and have, you know, the only professional race uh, right in my backyard. The 120-mile race route kicks off at noon from Kelly Benefits and Sparks. From Baltimore County's rolling hills, cyclists will head to the city's waterfront in the Harbor East District to the finish line, wrapping up around 5 p.m. This event is more than a race. It's an invitation to explore Baltimore's beauty and to join in the passion of cyclists as they pedal their way uh, through our streets. The event hosts expect to attract tens of thousands of spectators, both locals and visitors, bringing in an economic injection to the state. The race will also have worldwide reach with a live stream. We will be the postcard of the world. Everybody will have eyes on Baltimore. That's important. Economics are important, keeps people employed, brings tax revenue to state and the county and the, and the city. Hotels love it, restaurants love it. Stakeholders say with all eyes on the professionals, there's an opportunity to influence and inspire Baltimore City and County's residents, breaking down barriers in the sport. My single biggest takeaway was um, inspiration for how Baltimore is using this race to build community and drive diversity uh, through the sport of cycling. For a full list of road closures and parking restrictions happening this weekend for the Maryland Cycling Classic, head to WJZ.com.